so like i promised you i said i was going to pour out my heart and break down everything i know about mixing your beats and your vocal so because of this tutorial i did a beat and i recorded a vocal on it so this is what it sounds like To the end of time, yeah, you know that I cannot lie. Wanna love you in this very life and the other life until the end of time. Wanna love it till the end of time, yeah, you know that I cannot lie. Wanna love you in this very life and the other life until the end of time, man. No gun can even kill it, no means you can't destroy it It's harder than a diamond and precious than a gold You my gold and my diamond, that's why we go together to yeah To every day, nothing can break us down, uh It's really so interesting, you see so I wanna be with you every day, you see so Yeah, beyond all talk though You are the word that I trust so make your beats you don't need to add so many stuffs to make it sound good just get your good sounding drum kit select your kick select your 808 select your tones don't use a tone that is meant for reggae in your um r and b song reggae has its own tones then um r and b have their own tones unless you want to be crazy about things that's when you're gonna go crazy also about your beat but for this style of beat, I didn't want to do much. I just did basic stuff. I see some people's beat. You have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. A lot of stuff. And these stuffs conflict with the vocals. And it's not really good. So just pick out your basic things you want to use in the beat. Remove some things. And why your beat doesn't sound professional is because you add so many stuffs. And you're giving, you're giving your listeners the best of you. So like the way I make my beats, I actually start from a gradual process like the starting is not so interesting but once it gets to the chorus, that's when everything becomes interesting. So let me just start off with the, with the patterns. Okay, this is a basic kick and the the snare. Nice and clean.
so i didn't want the patterns to be the same all through the beat so i had to create different drum patterns so this is the piano i'm actually using nexus i can actually make a beat with fl studio plugins fl studio plugins are very nice plugins so you don't need to bother if you don't have any plugins because if you if you install fl studio new you notice that the beat that came with fl studio it's right in fl studio itself that the beat was made the mixing and the mastering the samples the plugins all it's inside fl studio so you don't need to worry yourself about the plugins i use so this is nexus this is a very basic chord which is your two six um three and six so if you don't have any knowledge about piano if you don't have a foundation about piano i offer premium courses on piano you can contact me on how to start the course <laughs> So this is the pad. The pad is doing exactly what the piano is doing because it's the same progression. So this is serum. I don't know how they pronounce it. If it's um, serum or serum, I don't know, but. What I did here is that I layer the sound. This first one is actually a synth. And this is a pad also, a different kind of pad. Or should I say synth also, but it's just different. So I mix both of them together to give me this tone, this sound. Okay. Okay, this is expand and I'm using music box. If you notice this line is just an octave lower. If you don't know what an octave is, you can contact me on um, piano theory so that I can break down everything for you so I'm actually my base here I'm actually using a plugin in FL studio called um, is it um, I'm actually using this plugin fruity DX 10 is what I'm using here I'm using the presets called flute e flute it's e flute so this is it e flute e flute i'm actually using it as my base so this is how it sounds like And I'm doing a slide. If you don't know how to slide on FS Studio, once you select your note, double click on the note and then click on this slide here and accept. It's gonna give you a slide. These are just single notes from Purity. So this is the base for the chorus. I also did a slide there. And guys, that's all for the beats. 
so talking about the vocal mixing this is actually a raw vocal so i just did a quick a quick mix so the first thing i added was my parametric eq so one thing about this parametric eq is that it's detailed like if the voice is playing now for example Wanna love it to the end of time. You can see where all the frequencies lies. So it's always right to boost around 10k, 8k to 10k to get more of clarity in the vocal. Around them um, 7k, that's where you find frequency like the sibilances. So as you can see this this um vocal is not the kind of vocal that needs much of the essence. So if you can't hear and find errors in your vocals, that means you can't mix it. Or what am I saying? 